We stepped up. That was amazing. Special teams, special plays, special players. We won't match Jones. Mac Jones. They gave it their best shot, you know. I can't complain, really. I mean, it was a great game. Uh, terrible game. Trevor's got to go. Put in Mac Jones. Welcome to Fangirl Media. I am your host, Cedric, and I represent the Jacksonville market. Fango Media has representatives in all NFL cities, and I am proud to bring it to you live from Jacksonville after each Jaguars home game. Not a great environment today for us. The weather is goes. It's been raining for the last two weeks, and it rained so hard and flooded all over town yesterday that I thought I saw Noah coming down Main Street. Well, it cleared up enough for the game to take place today, but it's not clearing up enough for the average fan, and a lot of fans stayed away. But still, it's been a great experience, and we're going to capture their reactions as they come out of today's game. What's your thought about the game today? The game ain't over yet. They got one more minute left. It's your boy DJ John John checking in with Fango TV. I think it's sad. I think that this was a season opener. It was a, de a defeatable opponent, and they came up short. The offense didn't control the line of scrimmage, and they need to go to the playing field and recreate themselves. Wait, Colin, what's the defense did their thing. Defense uh, didn't hold the ball too long. 55 yeah, three million. seconds to throw the ball. Change it. Name me. So, so, so this Trevor Banks State, you know that. It ain't, it ain't Trevor no. Banks State. Take it off. Never. 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 So, never, never, never back. So, so, so my yeah. question is, is he worthy of the big contract? No. Oh, no, sir. Play oh, Matt Jones. What do you do next? We want Matt Jones. We, we do. We pay quarterbacks. And we, got, hey, oh, we, we pay Bortles. He gone. Yeah. We play Foles. He, he gone. gone. Yeah. We play Trevor. He gone. gone. Oh, no. No. We want Mac Jones. Jones. All right, bring on Mac Jones. That's what I'm hearing. I think of the contracts that of recent, Trevor being one one of them and uh, Tua being the other, they look like they're coming up very short. Okay, now coming into this game, look like the Brownies were no good, and they were talking about getting rid of Deshaun Watson. What do you think about that? Uh, I think Deshaun has a lot of personal problems right now. I think he's God-givenly talented as far as like his quarterback abilities. Mm -hmm. But I think that it's in the same camp with Trevor. I think Deshaun Watson showed up. He showed I up? I think he actually came to play quarterback. Well, you know he never lost against the Jaguars before. You think they got something to do with it? Possibly. I think he understands how they play. Especially in a toxic environment like this. Okay, so now that you see how they play, what are your prognosis for the rest of the season? Uh, I think defense is going to play a big part. I think we win nine games. I think Deshaun might have a fall off after week six, but we're going to see how he plays okay. for the remainder of the year. Well, you, you know you got to deal with the Steelers, right? DJ Watson monster, bro. Okay, well, it's going to be a good one. Post-game comments. Yet, we thought it was over. They got a safety. They got the ball back. Minute 30 left to go. 90-yard drive. Duval. Duval Nation. Oh, talk to me, man. We lost. We should have won, but we lost. It's okay. What do you, come back what you think the problem is? Honestly, play calling. Play calling? That's what I'm going to go with. Well, you need a new coach is what you're trying to say. Well, maybe a new offensive coach, okay. yeah. Oh, I'm glad you asked me. Doug Peterson. Dog Peterson need to be fired. Let me tell you why. Tell me why. He don't. He's not a good situational coach. If you put Dog Peterson in a situation, yeah. he can't call. He can't. He can't call the play. See, he don't know how to call plays on short football field. Okay. Three yards to score a touchdown. Yeah. You call him to play like it's twenty yards to score a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me ask you this. This is the same Peterson that won the Super Bowl, right? Yep. That's that's the last situation. That's the that's the last situational coach moment or play he ever did. Come on over here and talk to me, man. Come on over here and get on tape, man. You still got your game face on. Tell me what happened today, man. Typical Jacksonville Jaguars. We just find a way to mess it up. Defense played ball lights out. It's we got to figure out our offense somehow. We got to we can't got to quit dropping balls. We got to quit making stupid penalties. Uh -huh. And for, if it wasn't for those. Um, Illegal procedures, we would have had a chance in this game, but. Good game, that's all I wanted. Coming well, in from Cleveland. Was you expecting that today? No, I was expecting us to get blown out. Yeah, so, well. uh, but it was a great game. I thought the Browns played really well. Jaguars, they hung in there. They gave it their best shot, you know. I can't complain, really. I mean, it was a great game. Uh, terrible game. Trevor's got to go. Put in Mac Jones. Mac Jones? Okay, that's, that's the third endorsement for Mac Jones. Well, what happened to you today, man? Hey, you know what? What happened today was an unfortunate event. We had a chance at the end of the game. We couldn't pull through. Let's go, Jags. I ain't saying fire the coach. I'm just saying that it just ain't they ain't calling the right plays, man. And it's common sense. You like I said before, you can have a million dollars. You can have you can have a, a, a rich, rich people all in the room. 
But ain't nobody got common sense. You're right. This is common sense. This is common sense, man. Buffalo. 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 And for some reason, we, we might we might end up eating, eating Buffalo. Um, that's where things used to go. For some reason, it's just that I, I don't see us going anywhere because we don't have a killer instinct. See, that's the thing about us, though. We'll end up knocking it off, though. That, that, yeah, that, that's, it's an any given Sunday. You're right. Any given Sunday. How about you? You know what? We ain't scared of Buffalo. Let's go. Let's go. That, that safety at the end of the game. Huge. Huge. When we needed them, we stepped up. That was amazing. The special teams with that punt at the end of the game, too. You know, first half, we completely controlled the line of scrimmage. One second half, se second half, they made they made a lot of adjustments. And we couldn't handle it, but we hung on. And we got the dub. Special teams, special plays, special players. The Who's Jacksonville that? fans, you guys, we love we Jacksonville. We love Jacksonville. 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 No, literally nothing bad to say about you. Guys. We appreciate that. Thank you guys so yeah, much man, for having us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Make sure y'all Fango um, Media. Fango Media. The Jaguars. They looked at Cleveland as a get well kind of game, but Cleveland didn't cooperate. They came in and they beat the Jaguars 18 to 13. You want to see some interesting comments from fans throughout the season? Tune in to Fango Media. I am Cedric, and I am representing the Jacksonville market, and I'm going to be at you with better content as we go along here from the Jacksonville Everbank Stadium. I'm out.